Go to PureNY.com for the latest fashion designed by my man Chloe. Ah, let me be professional. His name is Noel Bronson, and he's nice with it. If you're out here in LA, get it too. Get it shipped to you. Support for kicking it with Dukes is from Red Sydney Film Life. Now I've been booking actors for the short films and skits for the past two years and I'm noticing one thing. Your work is amazing, but the reels look like shit. You want people to take you serious and see you at your best performance in the best light? Contact at Sydney Blackwater for more info about getting your short film, skit, or reel shot at a great price for great quality with a quick turnaround time. Red Sydney Film Life, you heard? What's good, world? It's your man, Big Mike Douche. Y'all can call me Douche if you need to. It's the real dude going through some real life shit. I need y'all to see my man, Jordan, right here. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? I'm Jordan Irby, man, actor, artist, man. We here to have a good time, all right? Stay tuned. Now, I'm, I'm assuming both of you guys got experience when it comes to women, right? Something, something like that. Yeah? How much bodies y'all got? We're not going to throw a number out because we're not going <laughs> to try to look bad, you know what I mean? But, uh, I mean, right. uh... It's All a right. double digit, I'm thinking. Jordan, 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 how much bodies you got, bro? <laughs> when it come to cuffing bitches, I'm sorry. When it come to cuffing women, right. what you consider a lot of bodies, bro? If I hear a girl say more than, more than a 10, I'm kind of like, you know what? I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know if I can look past 10. Well, see, here's my thing, man. So every time a woman say her, her number, you always know you got to multiply that joint by three. Because <laughs> most of the time, she... Facts. Is lying, and you say a dude, a dude mostly got to divide it by two because we lie too. Again. I ain't never lied on my dick, man. Yo, real. I'm just saying, you ain't gotta lie. I'm just saying that's the most thing you gotta do. I know for sure. For now, let me ask you this, right? Why do you choose, let's say, 10? Like, you don't feel like 10 might be a lot? I'm thinking, I'm already thinking five is a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you, five is a lot real already, talk. but I mean. It's realistic. It's like, yeah, it's being realistic because, you know, we don't live in no fairy tale world. We live in a world where, we you know, people fall in love. People do stupid things when they drunk, you know what I mean? Uh, little Liddy, you know, they, they join the fuck you committee. It's just, at the 10, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I, if I could be on that raw dog level with you. And I'm trying to be on that raw dog level with you to be my wife here. I'm going to cuff right. you. I'm going to need that. You be on that raw dog level unless you've been with somebody for at least a year. That's, no, that's real. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, so, so how, much, how, much, how much condoms you use, bro? How many? How many? What is a hoe? A hoe. You know what? A hoe is a girl, I'm going to tell you right now, that, that got my line and then got two other brothers' lines and then up all three of us but telling me that it's just me and her on a one-on-one -on -one type thing. So you judging a hoe off her actions but not more so how much body she got. So you only you one of those oh, see, one half type of things. No, 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 you're right. Because look, first, I wouldn't ask, I wouldn't ask the body count. I would ask, I would like based off the past type shit. Like, yo. If I know that you was fucking with so and so, I'm about to do some homework and be like, how many people know you? How many people gonna talk bad about you? Cause you know damn well. All right, so let, so let me ask you this, right? What's up? Let me know. It's Shorty from Alaska, right? And she got 40 bodies, right? Now she over here, and she nobody knows. Nah, she a hoe, dead ass. All right, now, a now, now what if from Alaska though? I mean, ain't no shit to do in Alaska, but fuck, it's dark for half of the year. But that's what I'm saying, so I got that much more of a chance to catch some shit from 40 bodies being up in there from Alaska that I don't know. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's like, what I'm talking I mean, about. I, yeah. I got... Yeah. I, no, 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 no. What did she tell you she was a condom on all 40 dudes? That's still a hoe. How, She's how, still a hoe, right? How, how that's still a hoe. Yeah, and I can't prove facts. Just because you use a condom time. don't mean you're not a hoe. You still that's slept not, with 40 niggas? Facts, like, facts. How do you feel about a chick being a hoe? She get on, and then her hoe was erased because she's a celebrity now, and niggas end up cuffing. Once a hoe, always a hoe. It's not going to go nowhere. It's not. Right. It's not, because, you know, people always going to talk about, hey, you remember that one time me and her was, you got stories for a lifetime. It don't matter what you erase from your past. Somebody that fucked with you before is not going to forget what the pussy was like. They're not going to forget what the head was like. That's I'm not going to forget it. I'm not. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you could, it's not going to change me. I'm a woman. I'm just, you must respect Yo, me. Woman? I'm a woman. No, look, <laughs> if, a, if a woman is like, you got to respect me because I'm a woman, but you a hoe, and you glorify a whole culture, how much to respect you? Because at the end of the day, I think you easy, and I think you got a loosey ass no, loose pussy. That's, that's what that's I think. That's a fact. All right, you cool. And, that, and that, that ties into that line with Pac. You know, I, you know, I need you to tease me. I don't want it if it's that easy. How do y'all feel about this, you can't say anything age that we in? How y'all feel about it? People a bunch of pussies. That's what I think. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It's like you know, I wake up in the morning. And I'm like, it's it's two it's two ways you can go about today. One, you can you can wake up quiet and not say nothing. 
Or two, you can be that dude that's looked at as an outcast, but you speak your mind. And at the end of the day, I feel like you, you feel... You, you feel, feel like shit is like a little too sensitive now. Yeah, like, like, you, like people, you but people will cry over the smallest shit. Like you can't right. even, you can't be honest with them about how they look without them being like, oh, that's how you really feel about me. Like, you know, you just asked me a question, but you taking it to heart though. People take things way too personally. <clears throat> like, no, True. no, you can't, you're not allowed to have an opinion anymore. Like, I got a bunch of sheep. Like, nobody got an opinion. Nobody, like, why are you getting so offended? Like, if somebody says something that you don't like, you either agree or you disagree and you move on. Why True you gotta indeed. be so upset about True it? I, it's my opinion. I'm allowed to say what I want and you're allowed to feel how you want. Turn to the Big Mike Dukes. Hey, this is not the Sunshine State. This is the Sunshine, sunshine State. No, it's not. So what is? Florida's the Sunshine State. This is the Golden State, right? Yeah, oh, we're the Golden State. But True. which state gets more sunshine, though? Let's come clean. California. Let's come you clean. Know it's California. Uh, they gonna be like sunshine state. You know Florida. it's California. Oh, you don't know what right. you're talking about. So we in Cali. My we son, Cali. the return. What it is? Y'all know what I mean. Same, same type of thing. I mean, I can I can only get with my with my brother uh, my brother Jordan right now. Um, artistic artistic type things. Um, mm -hmm. I do make music. Um, I just doubt, I just got, got into a little bit of the fashion type stuff and a little bit of bodybuilding. So you know, just um. Mike, you used to be how how many pounds were you? I, man, back in April 10th, I was 330 pounds. Right now, it's what? What's today? 16. I'm, I'm uh, 277 pounds. So that's 53 pounds down in like right. like three, three and a half months. Right, right. So keep it going, man. Keep doing your thing. Got to, got to. Now, what, what's on Big Mike Duke's mind right now? You know, we're going to be doing some crazy shit sometimes. They be speaking about things, but doing something else. You who? know what I mean? Like who? Like who? For example, you know, short down day right now, like, you know, so the other day, she gonna tell me that um, something happened with her sister or whatever, right? I'm like, okay, cool, cool, I understand, it's your sister. You can pay the family card. That's only so much like a question, you know what I mean? Wait, 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 something happened with her sister? She said, she she, she called me and told me, look, I got I can't come over tonight because my sister is hurt. She's in the hospital. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So she goes, I'm like, gonna like hurt home. Hurt like on a motorcycle type? Nah, I, I guess hurt like where she need to be seen by a doctor type <laughs> shit. I don't know what kind of hurt. But she was hurt, so she had to, I guess, go to the doctors, right? Now, mind you, the other day, my girl was the doctor herself. You know how people be on the, on the IG, just let me show you, I'm, I'm hurt, you know. <laughs> so she screenshot herself on, uh, at the doctor, you know, they had a little, little bracelet on her or whatever, right? Right. So if, you, if you're thinking already, you that honest with me, you know, you're going to show the world that you, like, you know, that you out there getting hurt or whatever. And you're going to tell me your sister got hurt, but you're just going to ghost me for like four hours? Do you think damn well I don't know you playing? You think I don't know you playing? Come wait, on now. What she did for six hours? I don't. That's the point. I don't know. She went ghost for four hours. I, oh, I don't so know. So her sister got hurt, so called. Sister and got she, hurt. She, did she, she take you with the hospital pics? Nah, none. So there was but no the hospital day, pics. Nah, but the other day that ass she was gonna post, but she went to the hospital the other day. But she can't post last night when her sister, uh, whatever, when her sister was all of a sudden hurt, all of a sudden. But she don't go ghost four hours talking about my sister at the hospital. But you hit me at two in the morning talking about I'm home. What was you doing for them four whoa, hours? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was you really okay. doing for them four okay, hours? Okay, so let me get this straight. She hit you. Her sister got hurt. Yeah. She gone for eight hours. Pretty much a total of eight hours. Yeah. And we then she comes before, back. And we ain't talking for it. And then she come back at two in the morning talking Thank about God. I just got home. Mm. What, what you, was you doing? What you think she was doing, Jordan? Let me know, Jordy. <gasps> Keep it a hundred. <laughs> it better be a hundred proof. You're not gotta know, Jordan. Hey, that's some sketchy shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> The Saint the podcast for like hey man PC that's, shit. That's, 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 that's what do you think happened, son? I, see, I don't. Nobody knows. You know what I'm, I'm trying. Well, I'll, be, I'll, I'll say, be asking the same question. <laughs> I'll be asking the same yes. question. I'm gonna come clean, what bro. What the hell is it that you did for four hours? Like you can't. You ain't say no picture, no nothing. Honestly, to tell you the truth, you either cheat, or you doing something that you don't want me to know you, you doing. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, like, period. If you just can't, you you know, because it gets to me. If it was me and I went off ghost for four hours, my ass, my shit would be out on a fucking you, curb. Dead ass, yeah. you already know my shit been be every fucking two So I got, I got one question, you know. Dukes. What's good? So what you finna do with it? You know, I'm finna lay back. <laughs> I'm finna play cool. Talk to a couple more shorties. Okay. And just, I'm, I'm just not gonna really take that one as serious. We obviously can't take it as serious. Obviously I can't. Now, 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 Dukes, you grew up in, where you grew up at exactly? Tell them I was born up. in Woodland Hills. Um, I was raised, yo, I got me a fucking oop, little alarm. But now I was born in Woodland Hills. Raised out there in, uh, Pacu I mean, I guess you'd call it our leader, Pacoima, our terrible women. Um, but I had, I had the opportunity, to, uh, I had like pretty much my, my grandparents that raised me when they were seven. They moved to Detroit, Michigan, so I had the opportunity to spend the next five years straight for summer. So, so you grew up, no, you was born in Woodland Hills, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you grew up where, Pacoima? Pacoima, pretty much. Pacoima, our so leader type. Would you consider yourself more privileged or would you say like, 
Like, how would you how would you describe your experience growing up? I'm gonna tell you. Like, I'm gonna tell you like this. Um, everything comes with a price. Everything comes with a price, and that's right. what I work for. I didn't see my I didn't see my single mother struggle. I didn't see my mom pawn jewelry. So right. me and my brother had somewhere to sleep. Right. To be so we started an apartment to where we at now with a household. It's right. um. It's a nice house, man. It's, I appreciate that, bro. But it's, it's yeah. levels, though. It's levels. We came right. from bologna sandwiches to motherfucking like you know shrimp and type steak shit. Yeah. Seeing my mother grind taught me how to grind a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. That's what's up. That's you know what's what up, Jordan. Where you from? Man, I'm from D.C. Man, raised in Maryland. Where? East Coast boy all the way. Well, now, now let me ask you a question. What is it with D.C. now? Because everybody from D.C. They, <laughs> they they tend to be from Maryland, Baltimore, but then it always ends up DC, on D.C. Though. That's not D.C. So are you I was, from D.C. I was or are you from Maryland? I was born in D.C. My birth certificate says the District of Columbia, Northwest D.C., Georgetown. That's what my birth certificate says. So I was born in D.C. Facts. But you grew up in Maryland. I grew up in P.G. County, outskirts of D.C. Yes. Okay, so my question is, what about is it? About 15 minutes, like 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, all right, bet. Maybe even less. All right, now Maybe how do you feel about, because it's pretty close to home for you, so I'm going to ask you first, all right? How do you feel about these neo-terrorists, Nazi, whatever you want to call them, coming out in VA with the little punk-ass torches and all that shit? How you, how you feel about it? It's just like you're uncovering a sheet, man. You know, everybody, literally. everybody, everybody literally, saying, yeah, yeah literally. literally. But now nah, it's just like you know, we've been told like racism is over, man. You know, Who black told you people, that? black people been, just people, people been saying, you know, hey, racism isn't that bad of a deal anymore. Oh, guys are dumb, and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. But like seeing this shit just make you know, like, no, it's 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 still well alive. It's because you gotta realize, freaking like, sixty years ago, seventy years ago, I wouldn't be able to freaking sit at the same bus stop. As a white person, I don't have to give up my seat. Sure that's so that's not even like that's my that's my grandparents' age, man. So really, you can't sit there and tell me that oh, racism is truly over. We're like literally. But I, I but how do you personally feel about it? Honestly, man, I mean it's it's disappointing, but it don't shock me because I already knew this country was racist still. So you know, I just feel like there's just a bunch of insecure white men who feel threatened that they're gonna lose their opportunity. That was given to them without them having to do nothing for it. Right. And they feel threatened at the fact that people are going to have an equal playing field and they're going to lose their advantage, which is, is pretty stupid because if you're so superior, then you don't need an advantage. You're just going to go past everybody else and you, then you're not going to worry about if somebody got the same opportunity as you. Because if you're superior and then you're better, that's going to show. That's a fact. So, how you feel about it? I feel like people need to start addressing these people as what they are. Because I mean, I, I, I like, like I told you when we was at lunch, I feel like. The whole supremacist, the, the whole supremacist thing. They got the word supreme in it. And I don't see nothing supreme about these people. I don't see nothing supreme. You can't respect them, cause they're not respecting anything else but but their own type of values. And they got ignorance. And it's not by Trump being the president. It's all in the light now. And you know what I mean? Like that's that's yeah. not. That ain't right. That ain't right. Now Jordan, we seen the uniform on these dudes coming out with their tiki torches and all that. How you Looking feel like about Trump? the uniforms? What uniform? There's a bunch of my white middle class men. <laughs> Them niggas had on khakis, yeah, white just, collar shirts. Tasty ass white t-shirts. They look like they belong at an IT store. Alright, well, you need to make some phone calls for your homies out in VA. Y'all need to... Hey, you man. my man. The return of the Big Mike Dukes. What it do? And my man J.O. Felon, a.k.a. Jordan Herbs. I got a question for both of y'all at home. I'm trying to be honest, alright? Alright. Which one y'all eat ass, man? Oh, I don't do that shit. You know, I, <laughs> I, I, we already know his ass. Ah. But we already no, know his ass. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan don't do it. I'm not gonna I'll, lie. I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was about to raise my hand first and be like, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I ain't mean, never did it. So, Alright, so, so, so Dukes, you ate ass? Yeah, I'm gonna say like this one time. Okay. Once. <laughs> but, but, it was dead ass right after the shower. Completely dry, no nothing. All right? right, right, right. It right. wasn't no, it wasn't after no damn workout shit. It wasn't after no uh, job shift, nah. Okay. I made sure Shorty got dressed, shit, shit, showered, all that, all that. All right, right so, uh, what year were you born? 1990. 19 what? 1990. 1990 or 1999? <laughs> 1990. Oh, okay, 9-0, <laughs> Alright, now, do you think maybe you're a little too young to be eating ass, or am I bugging? Because I could be bugging. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's the age limit to be eating ass. I know people not, that okay, high school okay. now eating ass right now. So okay. Okay. I ain't okay. younger I, than me. Honestly, man, I ain't heard about eating ass until like a couple of years ago, bro. You know what I mean? Okay. I ain't heard about it. Wasn't that shit. Like it wasn't brought to light like a couple years ago. Some like, freaky ass people was like, "Yo, I'm about to eat the ass." Like, bro, I, shit come out that. 
I didn't know about eating ass until Janae brought it down. Yeah, it's a shame. I didn't okay. know about eating ass. So y'all, 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 y'all would agree that hip hop do influence people that listen to it. Then hundred proof, hundred proof. I'm gonna say it like this: If I hear a good R&B song and it's, and it's talking about how he's gonna fuck a good tonight, and you know, I'm, I'm a, lo I'm a, of course, I'm a vibe with that. I'm gonna hear somebody talking about yo, I'm about to come out and kill it. Nah, like sh that's not gonna influence me. It can influence somebody, but it can't. Like. You know, it might influence kids who are younger who don't really know any better how to make their decisions and all. And you know, when they still trying to figure out who they are and stuff like that, and it can influence them because they're like, okay, they, I see this person doing it and they successful, so I'm gonna do it. But at, then at the end of the day, man, when you get to a certain age and you start becoming responsibility for your actions and stuff, at the end of the day, it don't affect you because you're a grown person and you got the main, front, the, main uh, the mind to say, okay, I can do this or I can't do this. It's, I think it has to do with the level of maturity and where you are in your life, honestly, because if you're a kid, you're not gonna know the difference because your mind isn't fully developed. But if you're 25 years old and you're blaming a rap song for why you killed somebody, True you're indeed. stupid. How do y'all feel about some of these rappers coming out dressing like women and doing that? Like, do you think it's too far now? Well, you got you got grown ass men looking like a fucking girl, like on some, on some Titanic type shit with their hands out, uh, with a dress on. Like it's a man. You're not supposed to be wearing a fucking dress. You're not supposed to be wearing a dress. You're right. not. Do you think like like by rappers wearing certain things, blouses and dresses, they kind of pushing that that agenda a little bit, even like yes. inadvertently? Yes. Okay, you have that. I'm I'm thinking also that people are trying to make fun of certain people. Like make them the guinea pig, and I'm not I'm not I don't dig that. I don't dig that shit. I don't. You a grown man. Your mom's raised you, whatever, your father raised you. I'm sure that they didn't never let you wear no dress, you know what I mean? You getting paid now, you getting a check. I understand you're getting a check. But I'm not about to wear no dress to get a check, is what I'm telling you. That's and they, they wearing dresses to get checks, I understand to a certain extent, but I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna be like, yo, hey, bro, let me throw you that cause you wearing a dress, bro. I'm not, I'm not. I'm thinking it's too far. You asking yeah. me it's way too far. Yeah, man, I just I feel like it's just us personally, me, call me conspiracy theorists or whatever the hell you wanna call me. I think it's honestly just a way to just like systematically demasculate the black man. That's, what I'm, that's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying to you. They're trying to push the agenda to stop making black exactly men what I'm saying so to you. masculine or whatever you, it is. You, you, yeah, you, you know, said we, we, live, we live in this country where you know there's a constant attack on black men in general. Yeah. So I just think that's just another cruel tactic to, to pretty much bring, bring them down. Yeah, exactly. Pretty bring much bring everyone down. down. So yeah. that's all I think it's personal. That's true, that's I think like it's too far, personally. I mean, you can be hip hop, you can be whatever sexual orientation you are, and everything, man. But some things you just don't have to go so far. Yeah, you ain't gotta touch them on certain levels. All right. So, is there anything else y'all want to say, man, before we wrap this up? Right now, stop what the hell you're doing. Pull your phone out. Get on the IG and look up Jordan Irby, J O R D A N. Underscore I R V Y. Look at my man. Trying to y'all need to check him out. Hey yo, insane man. Check out my man, Big Mike Dukes at the real Big Mike Dukes. Shout out Red Sydney. Shout out Pure. Keep watching. We got some shit coming next week. The second we going down, it's live. Catch the shit now. Peace, love, and happiness.